Oh, hello everybody, this is The Hubs from Lisa's Halls, New Year's Day. Uh, just coming at you with a video uh, about uh, how horrible cigarettes are for you. As you know, some of you know, my New Year's resolution was to quit smoking this year. I've made many attempts through this past year, but I'm going to do it uh, this time for sure. Through uh, just the power of prayer and from my wife's help and all those things. And so I encourage you uh, to quit smoking if you're also a smoker. And uh, just help me along with this if you could. I want to go through some top reasons why to quit smoking. Because uh, this helps me to, to think of why I should not be smoking. Because, you know, let's face it, I enjoyed smoking. Uh, but here's some reasons not to. Number one is smelling like smoke. And believe me, you smell like smoke when you smoke. Lisa hates it that I smoke, hates being around me, hates kissing me uh, when I'm smoking. So uh, that's just one of the big reasons. Because you smell like smoke, your hair does, your clothes do. It's nasty. Two, your sense of smell and taste. Smelling like an ashtray isn't the only impact smoking has on, non on nose. Smokers also experience dulling of their senses, smell, and taste. So that's another reason. Start smelling and uh, tasting good food again. Now, I quit back in 2003, me and Lisa both did, and quit for, oh, until like 2015 or whatever. Uh, uh, 14 or 15, I did. And she's still not smoking. Uh, so I know what it takes to do it. I just got to do it. Okay, number three, premature aging. For anybody out there who's uh, wondering what smoking can do to you, I make sure skin wrinkle. So significant cause of premature aging in the face is smoking. Skin changes like leathery skin and deep wrinkling are more likely than people who are regular smokers. So, you know, I gotta keep this beautiful face up for the wife. Being the, the hubs of a star like that, I gotta keep that up. Number four, social pressures. You know, a lot of social pressures, pressures for quitting smoking. You know, like when you go out, you can't smoke. You know, your people around you don't like it when you smoke. They say you do drugs. You know, it's just not a cool thing anymore to do. Smoking is not cool. So you alienate yourself from certain people. Uh, if I was in this category, smoking makes it more difficult to find a, a husband or a wife or just somebody that you want to spend time with. A lot of people out there just do not want to be involved with a smoker. Period. So, that's that's very, very true. Uh, number six, impotence. And smoking generally adds a hurdle to finding a new partner. Impotence sure doesn't help. Yes, smoking increases the chance of impotence dramatically for men by affecting blood vessels, including those that must di dilate in order for uh, an erection to occur. So, impotence is a big thing if you smoke. Um, you know, that's a bigger problem in men that smoke. Uh, number seven, increased infections. You may know about long-term health risks associated with smoking, but did you realize that smoking also makes you more susceptible to seasonal flus and colds? Yeah, that's what they're saying here. Um, so, and I've, I've kind of found that through the years sometimes. Seems like when you do get a cold or get sick, it holds on longer when you smoke. Uh, so, yeah, just get rid of the smoking. You know, hopefully be a little healthier. Number eight, it says you're a danger to others. Secondhand smoke is estimated to cause 50,000 deaths every year. It's no wonder more than 4,500 separate chemicals are found in a puff of tobacco smoke. There are 40 of those are known carcinogens. So it's just stupid. You're just putting poison in your body. And I've been doing it for a long time, so don't, uh, yeah, I don't feel like a lone stranger or nothing. It's just, uh, just the way it is. I'm just kind of reading these things to help me quit smoking. And if it impacts you, more power to you. Number nine, impact on physical activity. Many smokers report a diminished ability over time to comfortably do things as simple as climbing a set of stairs or enjoying sports activities that once easy to part in, such as volleyball, or jogging, or hiking. So, yeah, it's just not good for your energy level either. You know, you can't breathe as well, things like that. Number 10 is the cost. If you're a smoker, it's no surprise that smoking is downright expensive. 
The price of a pack of cigarettes varies greatly by the location, but Flora says the average cost is about five dollars a pack. In some states, it's ten dollars a pack. Around where I live, it's over seven dollars a pack for a pack of cigarettes that you're just smoking and blowing up into the wind, and you know every time you smoke one. So yeah, I just want to quit smoking. So I've came out here today uh, to just kind of give those top reasons. And I've got my cigarettes here that I'm going to break in half. So, here's to quitting smoking. There you go, cigarette. Take that. And yes! Yeah, look at all this. Taking and breaking it right in half. Let's take all the rest here and break them. All this money, we're just breaking it. It doesn't matter before I just, just smoke it and break it. Smoke it and all that money up in there. Break all these cigarettes right in half. There we go. That's all of them. All broken half so nobody can smoke them. I'm not even going to give them to anybody. So, thanks guys and uh, we'll catch you next time.